I'm Alina. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in um, the Silver Lab at Howard Medical School. So within my postdoctoral project, um, I'm trying my best to make a human artificial chromosome that you can put really large amounts of genetic information into and hopefully recode cells. And I think that's the first step towards getting a much better understanding as to how um, our genome functions. Um, I grew up in Singapore and then I moved to Canada for my university uh, education and I did my PhD at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, BC and after that I moved to um, where I am right now um, at Harvey. I think my parents were really great in uh, raising my brother and I. We were both taught to think about things scientifically from as young as I can remember. So if anything, we were encouraged to ask questions and figure out why things work in a really you know, evidence-based scientific manner. And that's just been the way I live and breathe. And so um, it seemed natural to follow science. Um, it really helped that when I was in high school, my teachers really encouraged me to pursue science and math. And so it, um, I think for women especially, this is super important because you uh, feel like there's support for it and you see that there are mentors and uh, you feel like you can fit into a place like this and you could have your future in science. So for me, with my project in making artificial human chromosomes, the long term, really long term, hopefully within my lifetime, but possibly maybe in the next century, is to sort of be able to engineer um, mammalian and human cells and maybe, you know, make tissues or cells that can make therapeutics or even one day, this is kind of taboo, but maybe re-engineer humans or animals. And so um, it's, it's something that I think we need to talk about as a society. I really like discovering new things and also changing the world um, with uh, your job, your profession. And so science was a great way to join those two interests. And with science, I feel like every day I'm doing something new. Um, of course, this is not applicable to all professions in science, but if you, at least in uh, academia, you have some flexibility in choosing your projects, uh, choosing the questions that you're excited about, and going ahead and uh, figuring out the answers to those questions. I think it's, um, it's really exciting when you can see your work become reality to not just uh, fellow scientists, but to the public. Um, in future, I hope to be a professor. So to be a principal investigator, have my own lab, and um, be able to choose um, my research directions and my projects. If you really think that science is for you, and you know you, you do, again, your research on potential jobs, then um, it's just about, I guess, networking with scientists that you know. So try and find someone who's already in science, and, or a few people who are already in science, and talk to them and figure out you know, what's the best path to take, and, uh, good people in science to work with and that way you, you have the best support you can have to uh, pursue a career in science. Definitely reach out to the nearest university around you. Even if you're a high school student, you should talk to a you know, professor or something. You just email them and see if you can volunteer for a month or a summer. You know, don't be afraid to do it. I mean, what do you have to lose? <laughs> Especially when you're that young, you should definitely dive into it and figure it out. And see if you like it. If you really like that lifestyle, then, you know, go for it.